Does this ever happen to you? You create an awesome melody, add an 808, slap some drums on it, and boom, the loop sounds fire. Now, for some reason, a lot of us don't like to split up the loop and create an actual beat. Instead, we film our loop and put it on Instagram. We need to stop that. Today we'll teach you how to turn a loop into a beat. I made this quick and simple loop, check it out. Very nice. Now let's open up the playlist. First, right click the pattern and choose split by channel. Now every sound in your loop has its own pattern. You can double click it and make changes in the piano roll if needed. Drag everything in the playlist and select it. Press Ctrl B to duplicate it a few times. Let's start with the intro. I want the intro to be four bars long and on the fifth, I want the chorus to come in. Press Alt plus T on your keyboard to create a marker. You can then give it a name, for example, chorus. You know, stay organized. A great way to make the chorus hit hard is to remove everything in the intro except for the melody. But of course, as you can hear, that's an easy one. Next, we're gonna play with time and to do that, right click the melody in the pattern picker and select quick render as audio clip. This will create a WAV file of the melody. Drag it in the playlist and make it fit the intro. That of course sounds exactly the same. Now duplicate it and make it half the length. Click the audio icon and then choose make unique. With the stretch tool enabled, drag the sample back to its original length. Then mess around with the gain of both samples to mix it a little bit and check it out. Next trick is putting the drums back into the intro. It's a little counterintuitive, but you'll see why in a second. Send the drums to a drum bus. Then with the drum bus selected, find the fruity love filter. And once it's open, we're gonna play around with the cutoff knob. The more you turn it down, the more frequencies will be cut off. Right click it and choose create automation clip. Now in the beginning we want the drums to be present. Then we can play around with it, but the closer you come to the chorus, the more and more frequencies need to be cut off. That way the chorus will hit super hard. Now the problem with the chorus is that it can become repetitive real quick. And to fix that you can cut away all the drums at the end of the first half of the chorus except for the snare. You can take it a step further and also cut away the melody, so basically everything. The listener doesn't expect this, so the second part of your chorus will hit super hard. To start working on the verse, copy the melody and change it up a little bit. One thing you can do is make it unique, then double click it to open up the sampler and decrease the pitch by 12 semitones. Now the melody sounds a little different, which is great to keep the listener hooked. Now there's one thing that a lot of producers always forget when you're playing with the pitch, and that is re-EQing the melody. You see, when you put an EQ in a melody and then start playing with the pitch, the frequency spectrum will shift a little bit, which is why the original EQ doesn't really work anymore. So just slap another EQ in the melody and tweak it up a little, write that down. Let's continue with the verse. Now slowly start adding more and more elements into the verse to build up tension. Then at the end of the verse, I like to keep things quiet. This way the second chorus will again hit so much harder. Now the way that I built this verse is personal preference, but if you want you can copy it. For the outro you can go the lazy way and that is just copying the chorus. Then right click the master fader and choose create automation clip. All you need to do now is let the song fade out. You can also let the outro wind down gradually by removing elements. Or one of my favorite ones, duplicate the melody and the 808. Cut away everything except for the first note of these patterns. That's a great way to end a song because again, people don't expect this. All right, now it's time to take everything we created and mix it. But of course, I teach you everything about that in this video. So go check it out. Subscribe, gotta go.